I'm going to show you how to do the beams on um, Corel Paint Shop Pro Photo X2. Um, first, you should just open your picture and choose the color you want. I kind of picked something that would go with her shirt. Um, and the next thing you need to do is select the pen tool. It's the third one from the bottom. Right there. And then the setting should be on the mode. It should be point to point. Draw point to point. And then these three boxes should be checked. They need to be checked. Okay. And then the line style is just the regular straight line. And then your width. Um, I'm going to put mine about three but you can put yours on whatever you think looks nice. Okay. Then you put a dot. Well, you click over on either side of the person's head. I'm going to pick this side today. <laughs> and then you come over to the other side and just kind of drag your cursor downward. And it's going to make a curve. Right there. And then you keep doing that on the opposite sides and I'm about to mess up if you mess up just click the back button or the undo button and it'll just take it off once again I keep messing up uh, why is it not working okay okay there we go and then you just do that back and forth and then just looks like a little swirly line so it's not too pretty yet and then over here you have it and it says vector 1 and background right click on vector 1 and duplicate and now you have two of the vectors in your background you click on copy of vector the first one and then you go up to adjust and down to blur and then then Gaussian blur and then you put your radius on 2.00 or higher whatever you prefer and you push OK and then you can just go up to edit and repeat I do that about two times just to give it that blurry effect and then you stay on the, the top vector and you go to effects and 3D effects and drop shadow. You can either pick the same color or a different color. I'm just gonna use a blue. I'm gonna use that blue. And then the vertical should be on zero, horizontal on zero, opacity on 50, and your blur on 4.00. And then you just push OK. And then I do that about twice, or once, whatever. And then over here, you drag it down so that the first vector is on top, and then the copy is on the bottom. And you right click on the first vector, and you push merge, and then merge down. And then it just says copy a vector and background. And then you click on the copy a vector, and you come over here to the lasso tool. And then your selection type is going to be point to point. Your mode is replace. The feather will be zero. And that's all you should have for that one. And then you simply zoom in on the picture so you get it as close to the edge as possible. And you just select the part that you want to take out, which would be every other line. Now it's kind of got a little moving dotted line around that one. And then you push delete on the keyboard. Where's that button? You probably can't see it, but you push delete and then that line is gone. And then you push control D to unselect it. And you do that on every other line. So I'm going to do that real quick. Mm -hmm. 
and then you just zoom back out and then you have the beam around your person sorry the camera's so shaky well that was my tutorial on how to do the beams on Krell Paint Shop Pro Photo X2 I hope it helped